viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2024 GCE Mathematics paper team. So if you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the screen. You find a lot of resources that is going to be helpful to ensure that you armor and ace that exam of yours. Let us look at question 10. 10a, answer this part of the question on a sheet of graph paper. The values of x and y are connected by the equation y is equal to negative x to the power 3 plus x to the power 2 plus 6x. Some corresponding values of x and y are given in the table below. Calculate the value of q. So I'll go step by step. So the first thing that you are asked in this question is to find the value of q. So again, this is a question that always comes. Before you write an exam, you know that this question is coming. And it's a question that I would encourage you to answer because this question is one of the easiest questions that you can pick. So if you can do linear programming, you do this question. You can do the question on statistics and the question on mensulation and the earth geometry. Those questions are straightforward. This question is easier because you spend less time. So let us find the value of Q. So to find the value of Q, we just substitute in the equation, this equation, you substitute. So y is equal to so what's the value of x is 4 so we're going to have minus 4 to the power 3 then plus 4 square then plus 6 times 4 so this is going to be negative 64 so you need to be careful here because the negative is outside so you need to square 4 or you less 4 to the power 3 then you multiply by negative 1 so that's why we're getting negative 64 plus 16 plus 24, 4 times 6. Then this is going to give me negative 64 plus 40, which is going to give me minus 24. So Q is equal to minus 24. That's the value of Q. Once you do that, you're good to go. You get that one mark. So I've just used this space so that we don't waste so much time. So now, having found the value of Q, using the scale of 2 cm to represent one unit on the x axis for this interval. And 2 cm to represent 10 units on the y-axis for this interval. Draw the graph of this. So this one is just, we draw this corresponding coordinates. And this is 3 marks. So already we get 3 plus 1, which is 4 marks in the shortest possible period of time. Then let us do that. So let us go to the graph. Find the graph paper. Then we draw the x-axis. Then we go straight there. So join me the other side. Okay, so we have the graph paper where I have labeled them properly. What you need to be sure is ensure that you label the x-axis correct. And this interval is a 2 cm. So you notice that we are told that 2 cm on the x-axis means 1 unit. Then on the y-axis is 10 unit. That's what the instruction are saying. So pay attention to the instruction so that your graph is properly scaled. This, these points that have highlighted in red, take note of them. So number one, just start plotting. So we have negative 3,18. Negative 3,18. So negative 3,18. So this is negative 3. Then comma 18 is a positive. So this is 10. So it's just two points before 20. Because each these intervals are 10 units. And 10 units is exactly the difference between the two. So 18 is somewhere here. Then that's the first point. I'm going to use red so that you see properly. Negative 2 comma 0. Negative 2 comma 0. So we go at 2. Then the 0 is in here. Then we go next. You see? Negative 1 comma negative 4. Negative 1 comma negative 4. So negative 1 comma negative 4 is somewhere just here. Where the one itself is. Then next, we are here where we are saying 0 comma 0. So this one done, done, done. 0 comma 0. So we go to 0 comma 0 which is at this point. So what comes next is 1 comma 6. 1 comma 6. So let us go there. 1 comma 6. So 1 there is comma 6 is somewhere just above 5, which is somewhere here. 1 comma 6. Then go back and see. So this one we are done is 2 comma 8. 2 comma 8. So I, I, again, we come here 2 comma 8, which is just somewhere here. Then what comes next? You see, 
3,0. 3, so 3,0 is in somewhere here. Then we go to 4, negative 24. 4, negative 24, which is in because we found Q. So 4, negative 24, negative 24 is in somewhere here negative so this is 20 21 22 24 so 24 is here so we have all the points so it's just a matter now of joining these points to get in a sketch so we can use a smooth curve i'm going to use a blue color something like this so this side is supposed to go like that then come down like this and i can join these points let me just join this point so that it looks smooth. Something like that. So we're going to have a sketch of that kind. So this is the sketch we are looking for. Once we get that, we are going to draw this curve. So this curve is the one that we are done, which is the three marks. Then use your graph to solve this equation so again this question will always come so it's just a matter of playing around in such a way that on the left hand side we express it in terms of this curve that we already have then whatever it meant to the other side is also the other function so what you notice is for a you need to just add x from both sides or you take this x the other side because it will be 5x plus x so it will be uh, 6x so once you do that, we are going to discover that on the left hand side, this function becomes identical exactly to this function. So what we are doing is from the function that we've been given, let me just create space. So we have this function, which is minus x to the power 3 plus x squared plus 5x is equal to 4 minus x. So I take this on this side, so you are going to have minus x to the power 3 plus x squared plus 5x plus x must is equal to 4. So this is minus x to the power 3 plus x squared plus 6x now. x plus 5x plus x is equal to 4. This is the original function, which is this function, which is y is equal to minus x to the power 3 plus x square plus 6x this is the original y then we've got another y y2 or y1 which is equal to 4 so y is equal to 4 so we need to draw this line so if i were to draw this line y is equal to 4 let me use a ruler so that you follow me properly so i have a ruler i just need to draw this line i can use a black line so you see this line so if you look at this line this is the line we are saying y is equal to 4 that line the black line so at the point of intersecting of these two equations that's why we are looking for the values so we've got the first point of intersection this the second point of intersection and the third point of intersection so if you draw properly you come and lead this point c down here these are the values of y these are the values that we are looking for so i can get space so this is in loma numero 2a so for loma numero 2a Loma numero 2a. What are the values of x? So we're going to have x, then we are going to have another x, then another x. So if you come and start leading these values, what you notice the first value will be x is equal to negative 2.25, about that 2.25. So the first value of x, when you lead there, it will be minus 2.25. Then you come back and also lead at this point. At that point, it will be about 0 0.7 something, 0 .0, 0 0.7, roughly 0 0.7 or 2 or something, but it should be around 0 0.7. That is if you use a very sharp pencil. Then again, you come here, you draw here. So at this point, you get something around 0 0.2.6, 2.7, 2.6, 2.7 but with your drawings if your drawings you discover that you are going to get uh, something around 2.5 or 2.6 
so that's how you use the graph to answer the question so you look for the point of intersection then next let us answer question B estimate the gradient of the curve at the point where x is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 so you have the curve what's the curve the curve is this one so the first thing that you do is have an idea of under differentiation how would the answer look like the exact answer so we have this equation y is equal to minus x to the power 3 plus x square plus 6x so the first thing that is to find the y the x you give an idea before you even start estimating so going to have minus 3x square plus 2x plus 6 but the value of x is equal to 1 so we substitute there because it will give us a gradient so it will be minus 3 times 1 square plus 2 times 1 plus 6 so this is negative 3 2 so this is going to give me negative 1 plus 6 which is equal to 5 so the gradient should be close to 5 as we are estimating so now you come here we need to draw a line which is tangent to the curve at 1 so now but because this is an estimation the curve will pass somewhere like that something like that remember we did these points already points like that then you need to draw a straight line you put a ruler there you draw a straight line there then you find this gradient so the gradient will give you such a way that the change here will be a 1 the change here will be a 5 such that when you find the slope the slope m um, will equal to 5 divided by 1 which is equal to 5 like that so that's how you do so the estimation so from just using the y dx we can have an idea as you even you are estimating you know that what i'm estimating is surely making sense so this is roman numeral 2b so the answer m is equal to 5 you can do 5 4.8 4.9 4.7 those are approximately uh, 5 then we go to question b find the equation of the normal to the curve this is in the curve at the point 1 comma 4 so the normal to the curve if you have a curve like this the normal to the curve is a line that is perpendicular so i need to find the gradient of this curve then find the perpendicular line of that so i can use the equation by just differentiating this equation then i'm going to find the gradient at 1 comma 4 then i can now use this principle what principle the principle that gradient m times gradient uh, 2 of the normal curve is equal to negative 1 that's the principle that i need to use so let me find first the gradient of m1 which is equal to dy dx at 1 at 1 so y is equal to what's the value what's the function of y y is equal to x square plus x plus 2 so dy dx equals to x plus 1 then i substitute so it will be 2 then 1 plus 1 which is equal to 3 okay so i've got 3 as m1 then i can find m2 so it will be 3 multiplied by m2 is equal to negative 1 so m2 is equal to negative 1 over 3 then i can use this fact that m2 times x plus c must odd but i have the coordinate which is 1 comma 4 this 1 comma 4 is what we've been given here at this point so i can substitute this to solve for x so in this case y is a 4 so i'm going to have 4 is equal to m2 what is m2 m2 we've already found it is negative 1 over 3 then what is x is a 1 then plus c so i'm going to have 4 is equal to negative 1 over 3 is equal to c so c is equal to 4 plus 1 over 3 like that so i know now the value of c so since i've known the value of c meaning now the equation which is the equation to the normal this is b the equation to the normal becomes now y is equal to negative 1 over 3 x plus 4 1 over 3 so this is the equation we are looking for so once you do that you're good to go then you get all these 12 marks so the 
because of the plotting aspect eh, you take a lot of time for you to answer this question but at the end of the day you get all the marks that you're looking for which is good this is one of the easy questions so thank you for joining me in this episode join me in the next episode as i look at question 11.